looking today in biblical theology today at the Lord's Prayer. Uh, Pater Hamon, our Father. Uh, notice that you do have the our, not my Father, but our Father. Uh, the one in the heavens. Very interesting when you contrast this as it is in heaven. Our Father in the heavens. May your name be made holy, or even stronger. Notice that's an aorist, a passive imperative. Uh, your name be made holy. If we wanted to look at his, Ezekiel 36, um, this is part of the New Covenant promise. God says, I will make my name holy. Same word, same order. Um, and he'll do it by the new covenant. So we are praying for the implementation of the new covenant. Uh, your name be made holy. Uh, your kingdom come. The aorist imperative again. Your will be done as in heaven also on earth. Our bread, the sustaining bread, give to us today. Notice you, 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 us, us, us. Uh, God's things first uh, give to us today and blanket forgive aorist imperative again to us what we owe just as we have forgiven this is aorist of our uh, to those who owe us and please do not lead us this is a subjunctive imperative 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 imperative, imperative, subjunctive. Please do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil, uh, the evil one, uh, the evil that remains in us, um, the evil in the world. Um, Jesus gives this as a prayer that we should constantly uh, pray. 